Today I will be showing you how to make Stevie's Quarantine Sausage Pasta Dish. Thanks for tuning in. Firstly, you need to choose your noodles. This is the only one they had on the shelves there at Ralph's, so I bought this one. Next, you need to pick your sauce. This is also the only one they had at my local Ralph's, so I had to get it. You also need to pick your sausage links. I just ran across these at Ralph's. These are, uh, we're gonna pick two out of the five. Um, these are hot links by Hillshire Farm. I also like to melt this cheese in the pasta sauce after everything's cooked. I also like to use sesame oil as you all know uh, to cook my sausages in but you can pick your own type of oil whether it's olive oil etc. I also like to use pepper throughout the dish. Any kind of pepper but this is what I got. Just normal pepper. You also need a strainer. I got this at Target. All right, the first step is cutting these two uh, wieners. Okay, so what I like to do is I just line them up like this and I just cut them as so. See, uh, yeah, two is all you need. You can actually use one, it doesn't matter. I like, I'm pretty hungry, so. Right there, boom, boom. And the last part right there. Okay, so that's that's the first step. All right, one of the main ingredients that I am missing is garlic. Uh, whether it's garlic powder or uh, peeling your own garlic, uh, so make sure you add that into uh, your uh, pasta sauce at the end. That's if you like garlic. If you don't like it, then just don't add it. All right, so the next step is adding the sesame oil into the pan to cook our sausages right there. And then what I like to do is I, I spread it with my fingers. You can do whatever you want, but that's how I do it. So before I start cooking it, I like to, to like kind of finesse it with a little bit of pepper, you know? And I'll just go ahead there and turn on the stove and let it cook for a while, but I just like to add some pepper, you know? I don't know, I just like this, I like it a little hot, you know, and spicy. That's it. And we'll just let it cook for a while. So these look just about right. What we're gonna do next is just put these to the side. Let them sit for a while. So the next step is adding this into boiling water so the pasta could cook, okay? And that's gonna take anywhere between 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, thank you. So the pasta has finished cooking and I just dumped it into the strainer there. That's your next step. Okay, so what I did was I added the sausage into the pot because we needed to use the pot again. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour this sauce into the pot. Let me see if I can do it with one hand. And Again, I'm just gonna eyeball it. That seems just about right. And then what we're gonna do is mix that up and start cooking it, but we're gonna cook it slow on a low heat, okay? So here we go, uh, we're mixing the sauce. Um, and we have to do this a lot because I learned it from watching Goodfellas, that scene where um, Ray Liotta's character is telling um, whatever his cousin or whatever his nephew to keep stirring the sauce, you know, before the, their house gets raided. Um, and I'm like, I always had that in the back of my head, like, oh, like you have to, um, so it doesn't, what happens if you don't stir it, it starts um, bubbling up like volcanoes and stuff, like a volcano, like different volcano holes. So you have to constantly keep stirring it on a low heat. And I learned that from Goodfellas, one of my favorite movies ever. So yeah, there you go. This is also the time where I would, um, see how it's starting to bubble up, you have to keep stirring it. But this is also the time I would actually add garlic, whether it's garlic powder or um, garlic itself. If you peel, peel your own garlic, that's what I like. I like whole garlic. But I would, at this point, if I had garlic, I would throw it in here. So there you go. I just took the noodles out of the strainer, added it to this bowl, then I poured 
the um, the sauce with the sausages and then I topped it off with cheese and there you go that's uh, Stevie's quarantine sausage pasta dish thanks for tuning in City by side, it was a fallen leaf. Couldn't pick him up, but lifetime is brief. A homage to my pops and what he's achieved. From Korea to the land of stripes, be at peace. To how you not a Tory states meet your guide. Your body stays below the river tide. Confide in the waters, holy sea, consider lies. Subside, upside, is a falling in a pot to fly. My balloon, let him fly up to the moon. Yeah. Shaped like a spoon, not to be exhumed. Assume that I know about the air it flew. So, uh, I don't know what day quarantine it is, but I just woke up. I'm doing dream vlogs. The first dream was, um, I don't know, this might not make sense, but I, um, uh, I was skateboarding somewhere near Venice or something, and then, and then I was following this kid. It was like, I don't know who this kid was. It was like, maybe like one of the kids from, uh, uh, mid 90s it reminded me of like just some cool kid like uh, some black kid he did a back backside lip slide and then I'm like hey um, I was like hey like where are you going and then I started following him and he was like I was just trying to find kids to skateboard with and then he goes yeah we're going down here uh, you should meet the homies or something like that and then uh and then I go, hey, hold up. Do you guys have a skate key or something? And then they go, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up with your trucks, man? And then, like, I was like, because I haven't skated in a long time. I don't even know why I had a skateboard dream. And then they're like, man, you got worms on your truck, homie. And I go, what? They go, yeah. And then, like, there's this guy, um, this, this kid, Jeff, I used to skate with at North Hollywood. I don't know why he was my dream. He was always he was a real good skater, like always nice to me. I think they called him Turtle. Anyway, so like Jeff uh, starts like undoing my trucks, and then there was like and on the base plate for some reason. You know, it just make doesn't make sense, but like he opened, he's like, "Oh man, your your trucks are busted, homie." And then like he like started unscrewing it, and there was a s scorpion. But it was somehow the truck like got bigger, you know, this is a dream. The truck, the base plate got bigger and bigger and there was like a huge scorpion. And then it was like one of those like Friday, uh, Chris Tucker, they're like, damn, you know, it was one of those moments where like, oh, home, oh, and then like they skated away from me. So I don't know. I don't know what that dream means. Maybe like my trucks are poisonous. I don't know. Thank you for listening.